In this weekly video, we're gonna In this weekly video, we will learn to spell words that contain final consonant blends. On Monday, we will all continue learning about the final consonant blends and inflectional ending S. On Tuesday, we will continue reading the informational text, all kinds of homes, and we will answer the comprehension questions. On Wednesday, we will learn about interrogative sentences. On Thursday, we will learn about simple sentences. In spelling, we will learn to spell words with final consonant blends. And the spelling words for this week are ask, mask, go, pond, went, felt, and. Let's learn to use the words into sentences. I just wanted to ask you a question. Yesterday, I went to the mall. He dropped the mask on the ground. The frog plopped into the pond. The girl felt cold. The boy laughed cheerfully and jumped out. In phonics, we will learn about the final consonant blends and we will learn about the inflectional ending S. In a blend, two or more consonants are blended together, but each sound is heard. Let's read the words that contain final consonant blend at the end, like in slang. So you hear the N and the G sound. Ant, hand, pest, wasp, mask, raft, lamp, and sink all contain final consonant blend. Now let's learn about the inflectional ending S. Now I say the girl jumps, the boy sits. You put S at the end of the action word and it shows that there is one person or one animal or one thing that does the action. So again, inflectional ending S, adding S to the verb changes it, its meaning. It shows that there is one person or one animal or one thing that does the action now. It's in the present tense. Now let's read the sentences here and underline the verbs with ending S. Jim helps his mom. So helps is the verb that contains S. He packs up his bag. So packs is the verb. Jim grabs the sack, so grabs is a verb that contains inflectional S. This week, we'll be reading a story titled All Kinds of Homes. It's an informational story that tells information about real homes. So all kinds of homes introduces students to a wide range of homes, including some extraordinary, unique houses. So the target strategy is to classify information and to summarize the text. What two houses belong in a group of homes that can move? The answer is option C. Motor home and a houseboat. How is a houseboat different from a house? The answer is A. It is found on a water. Why does a cabin have birds for neighbors? The answer is B. Birds live in the trees near the cabin. Which of the following belongs in a group of homes where many neighbors live? The answer is A. It's an apartment. If a home is unique, it, 
does not look like another home. When I say interrogative sentences, I mean by it questions. So an interrogative sentence asks a question. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. And it also contains a question word. Let's read the examples here. May I borrow your newspaper? It's a question. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. Did you turn the light off? What is your favorite song? Do you ride the bus? Have you ever visited New York City? So all the sentences here that are read are questions and they end with question marks. A simple sentence expresses one complete thought or tells a complete idea. A simple sentence must begin with a capital letter and must end with a full stop. It should consist of two parts, who or what the sentence is about and the telling part of a sentence. If I say, Raya likes to read, this is a simple sentence because it has two parts. Who is the sentence about? It's Raya. And what's the telling part? Likes to read. It also expresses a complete idea or a complete thought. But if I say likes to read, did we understand who likes to read? Maybe my dad, maybe my brother. So it does not express a complete thought or a complete idea. And we are missing who is the sentence about.